Consumer alert this morning. We want to protect you from getting scammed. Lots of bad guys out there. And here to help, we have Tom Stevens from the Better Business Bureau. So one of the big scams that are out there are just marketing tactics. Correct. And these would be... Um almost fraudulent acti activities of companies. We have reports both in the Jacksonville area and the Savannah area where door-to-door -door security company salespeople are knocking on doors and when you answer, of course, usually you've got a sign in the front of your house that tells what security company, a lawn yes. sign. Yeah. Uh, so they knock on the door and they know you've got an alarm system and they say, we're with so-and-so and our company has just bought your company out huh. and you're due for an upgrade. Can we come in and talk to you about it? And so you come in, they come in, there's a new contract that has to be signed. They go through all of that deal and, and then leave. Now, what's happened is they really don't, they really did not buy the company out. You just signed a contract for a second security system. And so you've got, it's, a, it's an in-home sale, so you've got a three-day right of rescission. So if you don't read your contract carefully and don't do anything within three days, you're stuck for that, that second alarm system. The key is, before you sign that contract, you call your existing company and say, hey, did these bozos buy you out or what? <laughs> well, good. I mean, so you really have to do your homework. Yeah, you have to do your homework. So that's one that's happening in our area. Um, another one is the, the Facebook government grant scam. I haven't heard about this one yet. Well, what happens is that someone spoofs a friend of yours Facebook site. And, you know, they do that all the time. Uh -huh. uh, so they, they, they friend you and then they send you a private message pretending like you're, they're your friend on Facebook. And they say, I've just gotten this great government grant. And, I'm, and then they start telling how wonderful it is and how easy it is to get and want you to apply for it. And just keep pushing until you finally agree. And you go into there, there's a website, you apply for it. And then first thing you know, you start getting demands for money. You, well, you got to pay a, a fee and we got to put it on green dot cards and that sort of thing. Same type of scam, just a different way to do it. So you should be really leery if anyone even a friend is asking for money. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. All right. And the, the, the government is not going to give you a grant through Facebook. That's yeah, just all there is to it. That is not going to happen. Yeah, and, gonna happen. And the final one, we've talked to you about this a lot over the years. Um, it's really the roofing, the yard work, mm -hmm. the, the tree cutting crooks. Yeah, and we've had uh, a couple of reports that are pretty interesting. Um, one, in one situation, a, uh, an elder lady had just had a roof put on her house. And so a couple, three or four days after the job was complete, a couple of guys knock on her front door and they've got roofing company t-shirts up. And they say, uh, we've got a little bit more work left to do to finish your roof. And we'd like to finish that now, but you do owe us a small balance. And it's usually less than a hundred bucks. And can you pay us that? And cash would be great. And so there's two of them. One of them stands there and talks to the, to the, to the homeowner. The other one goes around the backyard, does absolutely nothing for about five minutes, comes back, says, okay, job complete and leave. And they just walked away with a hundred bucks. Uh. And then in the other situation, same thing with a lawn to lawn, a uh, door to door lawn maintenance company. Uh, again, an elderly lady. The uh, first guy, the two guys knock on the door, says, We'd like to give you a quote on, on your lawn. So the, he, she takes her around to the backyard to show them in the backyard. While she's back there, the other guy's in the house stealing in the house stuff. Stealing stuff. Right. That just breaks my heart. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, especially just looking out for. You know, my parents, I mean, right. I just think, I mean, they want to trust people and they want to they help people. All right, so you need to be extra careful from all these three scams that we just mentioned. And if you have any questions about anything, you can always give the Better Business Bureau a call. Talk to one of the folks there. Say, hey, you know, this is what's happening. Should I trust these people or not? They'll always give you great advice. And you can find the number and information on how to reach them by going to the morning show page of news4jax.com.